Hey guys, what is up? It's me, Starting Mad of Virus Gaming with a gaming commentary on the map standoff. Now I'm re now it was it this kind of commentary it needs a good gameplay to go with it. And it best sums it up because <coughs> in this game we had knifers, riot shielders, tack inserters, inverted worm squirmers. We had the we had the lot. We had the bullshit of the century, really. This was the biggest, most bullshitty game I've ever been in, really. Well, actually, no, that's kind of an understatement because I kicked their fucking ass all over the place. But you can't get what I mean. They're playing like bitches, and it was funny as fuck because it was the most fun I've had on this game to date, really. Because I think I've never played against so many bad players in my entire life. I mean, the last live commentary I did, I thought they were bad, but oh my god, these are on a whole new level. So, <laughs> just sit back and enjoy the gameplay as I talk about why Call of Duty is only killing itself. Not not other companies. Not uh, not. It's not necessarily Battlefield or the other companies out there or the other games out there that are damaging Call of Duty. Yeah, they might put dents in it, but the main cause of Call of Duty's downfall is Call of Fucking Duty. When you think about it, because let's say you've got in this game, you've got target finders, you've got all that shit. And people are going to exploit it, and it's going to piss people off. Now, it's kind of a rant as well, because if they don't balance them out properly, then it's going to become a massive annoyance for other players. I mean, Ghosts, obviously I've heard about this whole dead eye thing for Ghosts, where apparently if you get three shots in a row, three kills in a row, your gun gets more powerful. Now, can you imagine that on this map? Can you imagine that in this game now? How fucking ridiculous that would be. I mean, it might just be the fact that it might just affect a certain weapon in a certain way. It might not increase damage that much. You might have to have like hundreds of kills to get like really high dev devastating weapons. But if it's anything like how bad like this game, it will. I don't know. I mean, it. We can't really judge until we've seen it. That's that's the honest, honest to god thing. We can't really say this and that until we've played it for ourselves. So yeah. I, mean, I just want to take a few seconds to just do this commentary because I really do think the Call of Duty isn't, it's not other things killing Call of Duty, it's Call of Duty killing Call of Duty. And I think a lot of other commentators have mentioned, mentioned this as well, to be fair. And I just think the gameplay sort of proves it. I mean, these guys, they just went to the same spot over and over again. And I mean, if it was against any other, I mean, they clearly hadn't prepared properly because they hadn't really considered, what if you're using a C4, what if you're using an EMP? I could have devastated them if I was that, if I was a really good player and I used them secondaries appropriately I don't know the road secondary so they were pretty lucky bastards in that respect. I'm always a cop I'm always a straight good vibe type of person. I don't really run around except with my PD not PD obviously I'm a peacekeeper class. But uh well for the last three minutes I am gonna talk about people uh, uh people who in the comment section don't seem to understand that if they don't like a video they don't have to fucking watch. Now, if you've seen, uh, if you watch GD like I do, you'll say that there are a lot of haters in his comments who say, Oh, GD, stop complaining about the game. Stop doing this, stop doing that. He's a fucking rager. That's what he does. That's what we do. If you don't like it, fucking leave. That's the point. <laughs> if you don't like rage, you don't have to listen to it. Have you seen his Life After Prestige series? Life After Master Prestige series? That's what he does. Best of worst series, that's what I do. Sean does it. El Presido. And compare it to El Presido, no, you can't. El Presido is El Presido. He is the Presido. He's the man. He's that, that guy. JD has his own. Schwartz has his own. I have my own. We are totally different beings from one another. We are totally different commentators. And some of these comments are just hilariously bad. Like, oh, you, you're a puppy. No, 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 Really, when you make that comment, you are playing into their hands, and if they and their comment will generally rip you to shreds if they bother to reply to you. But mostly, it ends with a block. And your 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 comments kind of pointless when there's other like 500 people enjoying the content. Live life a little. Sit back and enjoy someone else's rage. Laugh at them failing. That's what people do when I fail. <laughs> it is pathetic. Honest YouTube, you are the most pathetic kid person I've ever seen. What the fuck is up with that mask, man? It's a, are you fucking Batman or something? Oh, and then you've got your little friend, Winged Emu and Co. Fucking hell, man. <laughs> what is it? Is it, is it, is it 
It's a joke. It's a proverbial joke. And I mean, I'm always going to support GD because I'm. I mean, I'm a massive fan of his. I'm going to support his. I hope all the people he knows and who he supports. So people who post these comments, they're just making me laugh. They really are making me laugh. And oh, uh, I mean, on YouTube, I'll. If you really want to go and hit on this kid, I'll link the video in the description below so you can go and um, hit on him some more. Cause you can, cause when you've got this type of guy, I mean, he's using a fucking mask and he's generally trying to bitch. I mean, come on, if you're gonna have the balls, at least show your face. Come on, man. No one's gonna, um, no one's gonna be taking you seriously if you're hiding behind a fucking mask. Are they really, really, really? It is a joke. So anyhow, to conclude, guys. I think Call of Duty Ghost is either going to make or break it with Dead Eye and um, the fucking juggernaut maniac bastard person person. Um, this game was probably the most fun game I've ever had and the most easiest game I've ever had because it pretty much played into my hands every time. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this comment. It was a kind of a rant as well. So I have been starting my virus gaming. Thank you for watching guys and stay tuned for more.